and give updates to dispatch while you're in pursuit of the vehicle. Uh, Maxima, can I be in pursuit of the vehicle? I mean, the vehicle. Yeah, you can. Okay. Yeah, they're going to go through the same course, but you can be the one that's running from them if you want. Solid. Okay, Kieran, are you ready? Just a second. Are you nervous, Kieran? What do you think? Good. That means you're human. Where are you, dancer? Do you have any questions? Nope. Remember, the course changes every time, so uh, you, you'll have to deal with one moving conflict, and you never know where that moving conflict is, so be alert at all times, okay? Yep. Ma manage your speed. Uh, don't hit anything or anybody, and get to the scene safely. That's what it's all about. When I see your wheels move, the stopwatch will start. Got it. One minute, 31 seconds with a three second penalty. One minute, 34 seconds you pass. Congratulations. I had your right tire hitting a railroad track. Okay. Mr. Jonas. Yes. Assume the position please with the car over here. <laughs> Sorry. Go ahead and turn on your F5 disposition display. You'll notice in the bottom left-hand corner, and Corporal Nibbles, come here with the violator's car, please. We are going through the same course from a track standpoint. However, you'll notice in the bottom left-hand corner, you should be on East Latch Key Avenue, correct? Yes. In basic should have been trained on how to properly call out for a 10-100 and noting to dispatch that you are in a priority chase. During the entire course, every time that street changes, I want you to communicate to dispatch in a clear and concise manner the name of the street that you're heading. So for instance, you'll start off the dispatch saying, dispatch cadet one, priority, active 10-100 on East Latch Key Avenue. And then from that point forward, I want you to give a description of the vehicle, what the plates are, and then every time we change roads, and you'll notice that in the bottom left-hand corner of your screen, I want you to update dispatch on where we're traveling to. 10-4, uh, uh, I have a favor to ask. Um, okay. Can't, I have the snow mod, so it's hard to see the, the uh, road on there. Can we change it to nighttime? You, you have a what mod? I have the snow mod. Okay, you should not have any other mod besides what's in our pack. I know, I have to uninstall, I had it from uh, a long time ago, I have to uninstall the game first to get it off. Well, go ahead and turn the uh, 
thing tonight, then I'm fine with that. It's your game, so I think you control the time. Um, do you want me to do the entire course? Like, exactly. We're going through the entire course that we just went through, all right? Uh, all right. Dispatch Director Quayez, are you in the room still? Yes. Yeah. Can you provide feedback and play the role of a dispatcher on this active 10-100 pursuit, making sure they're calling out the street names and updates in the pursuit? Yes. Thank you, sir. All right. Do you understand the objectives here, Jonas? Yes, sir. Okay. So don't forget, this is just as if you are starting a pursuit. So you need to give the dispatch. You need to properly call out the dispatch. Let them know the description of the vehicle. You can make up the tags if you want, or actually turn on F6. You should get tags. Properly give the tags. And then every time we go to a different road, I want you to announce that communicating to dispatch. Got it? I got it. And is this going to be timed? This is not a timed course. This course, you are being evaluated on how clearly and efficiently you are communicating with dispatch. Okay. Do you want him to start with a traffic stop? Um, actually, we're going to spend some time doing traffic stops later and okay. we'll incorporate all three things together. But right now, this is just radio traffic. So... So when I I'm gonna start out by saying, uh, Cadet One Dispatch, I have an active 10 one, or Cadet One Dispatch priority, I have an active 10 100 east on Latchkey Avenue. Tell him the tag number, and then when is he actually gonna start going? He's gonna actually start going right after he hears you say the tags. Okay, 10 four. And then remember, it's Dispatch Cadet One, the name, the person that you're calling out first. Okay. Okay. Okay, I got it. Um, wait, Max, we changed it. Oh, we did. It's just Cadet 1. Okay. There's no more calling out to dispatch? No, I don't think that it, um, it'll be... Um, we're trying to cut down on some radio traffic. Okay, that needs to be officially communicated to everybody since we did change that. Yeah, we, remember we agreed to it in the supervisor meeting. I know we agreed to it, but how does everybody else know about it? Supervisor's supposed to relay the message. Oh, don't worry, I correct <laughs> Don't worry, I got it. All right, thank you. Okay, um, so the training scenario will start when you begin, Officer Jonas. This is also a code three response. Cadet one priority. Cadet one. I have an active 10100 East on Lasky Avenue, 1028 is going to be Henry, Charlie, Tom, 175. Now we're going to be North on Lasky Avenue. Made a left, going to be West on Lasky Avenue. Yeah. Going to be going North on Roebuck Road. Gonna be going east on Roebuck Road. Made a left turn going north on Roebuck. Made a right turn, gonna be going north on Plumber Skyway. Just made another left turn, gonna be west on Stower Avenue. Another left, yeah. gonna be south on Stower Avenue. Just made a right, gonna be west on Robot Road. Made another left, gonna be south on Robot Road. Now we're gonna be headed south on Robot Road. Okay. So, uh, good job. Couple things. Let's pretend your other officers, 
Captain, let's pretend you're another officer or you're the dispatch. Do you think announcing every time you take a left or a right or a right and a left, do you think that's going to make any difference to anybody else but you? No. No. What are the, what's the important piece of information? Just for them to know uh, what road to turn on. There you go. So we don't need to be communicating lefts and rights. We need to be communicating what road we're traveling on. That way anybody following on their map can understand where you're heading. And then, uh, you know, back up to assist. 10-4. How many objects did you hit in that pursuit? How many objects did I hit? Yep. I think I hit one. Are you sure about that? That's all I know that I hit. I, hit. I, I have you hitting three objects. I've only, I only saw one. I will tell you if I saw three. Okay. That could have been game lag. We're going to do it again. Also, also um, Quez, you, you jump in here. When he's in an active 10-100 priority, is the radio traffic going to be prioritized to him to where he can just be calling out things like that? I will try to do a signal change as best as I can. Okay, what I'm saying is he doesn't need to be calling out to that one every time, correct? Nope. Okay. What other information would you have liked to have seen or any other feedback from a dispatch perspective? Basically, you said it just... You don't have to tell me which way you turn, right or left. Just north, west north, south, east, west, whatever, and then the street. Maxima, you know what would be doing this in the city, but we'll do it here. Yeah, it's it's the same stuff. But we've got right, right. multiple objects, we've got street names. Um, yeah, it's, it's a controlled training environment, which is what I like about it. Okay, Officer Jonas, let's do it again. Could have one priority. Could have one. I have active 10100 East on Lightsky Avenue. 1028 is going to be Henry Charles Tom 175. North Lightsky Avenue. Hmm. West on Lightsky Avenue. North on Lightsky Avenue. North Roebuck Road, correction. East Roebuck Road. North Roebuck Road. North on Plummer Skyway. West on Stower Ave. South on Store Ave. No whisper target found. Uh, change that to South Plumber Skyway. Gonna be on South on Roebuck Road. Now we're gonna be headed South on Roebuck Road. Good. All right. Good job. I had myself uh, hitting a uh, railroad track. Yep. Kieran, you're up. Uh, do we have time for me to use the restroom real quick? Sure. If you said no. Okay. Um, if you're on the same road, like Roebuck Road, um, hold on, let me try to figure out the way to where it is. Okay, if you're on the same road for the longest, you don't have to tell me if you're east or west, just when you take a different road. 
No whisper target found. No whisper target found. Okay, Karen, any questions based on what you've already heard so far? Nope. All right, uh, it starts when you're ready. Cadet 2, priority traffic. Cadet 2. Lemonade active 10100. 1028 is Bravo Court. Gordon Samuel 261. North Latchkey Ave. Two. North Roebuck Ave. Road, sorry. We North Stroller out now. No whisper target found. No whisper target found. Southbound. Westbound on Roebuck Road. South Latchkey. Ten fifty with a fence. Dispatch. Yep. No whisper target. Okay. How would you call that out? Suspect 1050 with a fence. Where at? On South Gromit Road. There you go. Let's do it again. Okay. Man, that crash hurt my neck. No whisper target found. Okay, so, Kieran, um, I think we just need to work on um, just the fluidity in your voice when you're communicating with dispatch. Um, I mean, uh, let me think about how to explain this to you. I think you need to know what you're going to say before you say it. I felt like your phrases were very broken up and, and spaced out. Remember, we're trying to get on and get off the of radio traffic as quickly as we can. Also, when calling out, could see that getting a little bit confusing. And I think it's okay also to you know, articulate sentences. Uh, dispatch, be advised, we're now on Latchkey Avenue. Dispatch, be advised, we are now on South Promet Avenue. Traveling at speeds approximately 45 miles per hour. Driver appears to be intoxicated. Car is driving erratically. Give out as much information as you can. And also, don't forget, and Jonas, I think you forgot to do this too. In addition to the 28, we need to know what the vehicle description is. What color is the car? What kind of car is it? How many occupants, etc. Okay? Yep. Let's try it again. Cat one priority traffic. Good out. 
In a attack active, 10100 with a blue comet. Occupied one times one. Possible intoxicated driver, 1028 is Alpha Bravo. Bravo Richard, 378. Heading north on Latchkey Ave. North Roebuck Road. Yeah. Yeah. North Plumber Skyway. Yeah. West Shore Ave. Southbound Plumber Skyway, heading on to Roebuck Road. No whisper target found. Suspect 1050 with several crates. No whisper target. Change one. Suspect 1015 with fences on South Gromit Street. All right, uh, Jonas, you're up again. We're going to go through this all again. I'm not happy with it. No whisper target found. All right, let's try to be a little more clear. Might be. Let's go through an actual full traffic stop this time, please. Uh, Corporal Nibbles, I just want you to just go slowly and wait till the officer starts to pull you over. Um, Officer Jonas, I want you to follow all traffic stop procedures that you learned in BASIC and be prepared for a active 10 100. So we're, I want you to communicate everything to dispatch from start to finish. 10 4. Cadet 1. Show me north on Lasky no Ave. 1028 is going to be Charlie Victor X ray 3431. It's going to be a blue total two door comet. Occupy times one. No assistance required. Cadet 1, priority. No whisper target found. Cadet 1. I have an active 10 100. Going to be uh, north on Roebuck Road. Uh, again, the car description is going to be a blue two door uh, comet, occupied times one. Uh, possible intoxicated driver here. Going to be going north on Roebuck Road. Suspect just TC with the building. North on Pebble Skyway. I have an active uh, 10 101. Suspect's going to be a white male. 
We're going to be west on Sorrel Ave. Grenade thrown. Be advised. Suspect's going to be running west on Stower Avenue. Throwing grenades. Be advised. All units. What is he throwing? Throwing grenades. Suspect down. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's... We got a lot to talk about here. First thing, how close were you to the car when you made the traffic stop? I was pretty close. How close should you be? One car distant. That's right. So, that's strike one. When... The vehicle started, when he started to go out on foot, and he dropped his first grenade, did you have probable cause to use lethal force right then and there? Yes, sir. Why didn't you do it? I just wasn't aware of it. Okay. It didn't come to my mind. That's not the first thing that came to my mind. Was it, If somebody in real life is throwing a grenade at you, do you think I, I might shoot his ass? Yeah, just the first thing that came to my mind was uh, get the hell out of there. Okay, well that's that's probably the first thing that would come to my mind, but after that, I'm probably going to put two in his back and two in his head. Right, I understand. Okay, and remember, we've got to, dispatch has no idea where we're at, so we've got to let them know. When we had shots fired, I didn't hear a shot fired come out. I think I might have just for, I forgot to push the key, but I, I said it, I just forgot to push the key. Okay. To be honest... I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt here. You had no idea that was going to happen. Seeing as it was your first call as well. But. Well, you're right, but that's just how it is on the street, so right. I had no idea what was going to happen. That was hilarious. All right, let's go uh, Let's go do it again. Kieran, you're up. Uh, just stick with me on this one, by the way. Oh, no, this is my call. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. You want me to come to you? Nah, it's fine. <sighs> no whisper to Andy hits our squad car. Oh, yeah, I just glitched the car. <laughs> Give me a new one now. Do you guys, do you guys understand the importance and the relativity, relativity with this training? Yeah, I got it. I mean, okay. I understand what I understand why you're getting on to us. Like, you have full reason to. Max, it if really you just want to do a call with somebody uh, suiciding, have I personally? Yeah, no, no, not like in real life. In, oh, the game. in the game, yeah. Fucking weird. Yeah. Hey, do you mind if I follow along on this one? Yeah, it's up to Kieran. Yeah, why not? Just leave a little bit of space. Ten four, I'll ride behind Chief. Okay, uh, do you know what you're going to do here? Yep, pull him over and then it turns into a pursuit. Hey, um, Officer Jones, make sure you uh, keep your lights off. Does it show him as off, Chief? Yeah, they're off. Cadet 2 dispatch. 1011 on a red comet. 1028 is 17 Bravo Oscar Kilo. Two. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. 
What did we screw up on that traffic stop? What's the first thing we should be telling dispatch when they call it a traffic stop? Location, I know. I forgot. That's right. Location. And why is location important? Because if I get shot in the chest and they don't know where to send an ambulance, I'm going to die here. That's right. There you go. And then, what's the other thing you forgot to say? Occupancy of the car. That's right. So let's get the traffic stop part right. So let's just start right here. Let's pretend the car car's pulled over and you're going to be came with dispatch. And I thought we just said we weren't going to say the word dispatch. Well, since it wasn't in priority traffic yet. We're not playing dispatch at all. Oh, okay. Yeah, just call sign. 10-4. And I prefer actually when you do like Cadet 2, I, I prefer the word traffic to let him know that you got a traffic stop. So Cadet 2 traffic. Okay, one second. Cadet 2 traffic. Cadet 2 traffic. 1011 on North Latchkey Ave. Vehicle is going to be a. Red Comet occupied times one. Ten twenty eight is one seven. Bravo, Oscar Kilo. Ten ten one hundred on North Latchkey Ave. Westbound Latchkey. Gonna be heading northbound onto Roebuck Ave. He's now traveling on oh, southbound Shore Ave onto Plumber Skyway. Suspects on foot. Oh. Active 10 101 <laughs> heading. Did not see him come my way. <laughs> Eastbound Plumber Skyway. Weapons secure. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I didn't hear shots fired come out. You didn't hear? I, I didn't said hear. shots fired. Did anybody else hear it? Yeah. I'm recording. It'll be in the video. <laughs> I didn't hear it. Okay. So, Kieran, um, you might have said it, but I don't think you were transmitting to dispatch. Jonas, you're up. And four. We're going to go through the whole thing. Traffic stop. And whatever else happens after that. Remember, the point of this training is to communicate clearly and efficiently with dispatch. The point of this training is not no whisper target how found. fast you can drive your car or shooting the suspect. It's clearly and efficiently communicating with dispatch. Also, I don't... Do you say that you're now in a 10-101? The shots fired call is vital. Yeah, and I, and I would just say we're on foot now on East Stower. On foot on East Stower. Suspect is on foot heading eastbound on Stower, something like that. 